Earl is married to a billionaire. She can't live in her husband's house every day. She still sleeps at home like a single person, just because she and her husband are contractually married. For one year, they promise not to fall in love with each other during this period. Both parents didn't suspect anything about their relationship. This evening, the man's mother came to see them with a gift. Lisa received a call from Mike. Lisa rode her bike from home to Mike's house. She was so tired she couldn't breathe, but Mike was still blaming her for being slow. Lisa wasn't afraid of him. When she saw her wife's ugly and cheap clothes, Mike couldn't help complaining. Then he picked out two dresses from the wardrobe and was about to give them to Lisa to change into. Mom had already rung the doorbell. Mike had to check the door first, but when Mom saw Lisa, who was out of breath. She asked worriedly and the girl said she was fine. Mike breathed a sigh of relief and was ready to go in, but he never expected to see. Lisa's sock had a big hole in it. They asked mom to go in first. Lisa didn't realize that her mother-in-law had come tonight, that she'd come tonight to give them an expensive wedding present. It's a bit heartwarming, but she comes from an ordinary family. She doesn't know the rules of a rich family. Her mother-in-law looked at her for a long time. She thought she should make her a cup of tea, but the way she made the tea was too clumsy. She watched but didn't say anything. Mike couldn't stand it and got up to make his own. Mom was telling him to respect Lisa. Lisa had made the tea herself. Granny politely took a sip. It didn't taste very good, so she offered to let Lisa stay with her for a few days to do some of her favorite things. Mike was afraid that the fake marriage would be exposed. He made excuses for Lisa, saying she didn't have time. Mom ignored him. She just asked Lisa. Lisa was too embarrassed to say no. So she agreed. She just heard her mother-in-law say that in a few days. It'll be Michael's 88th birthday. Lisa asked Mike if she wanted to go. Mike said you don't even know how to make tea. Don't embarrass me by going. Lisa didn't get angry. She asked Mike, does she get paid extra for staying with her mother-in-law? Mike gritted his teeth again, but he did promise a reward. Lisa was satisfied. The next day at work, she was ready to eat instant noodles as usual. But then her mother-in-law came over. She wouldn't let her eat instant noodles. Instead, she took her to afternoon tea and chatted with her friends. But Lisa didn't speak the language. Her mother-in-law was kind enough to translate for her. The next day she taught her how to make tea. She taught her how to ride a horse. But she messed it all up.